my first experience with intimate apparel involved my mom and a bunch of macho military men in fatigues. You see, I was a military brat, and my mom had taken me to the base exchange to buy my first bra. So when the sales lady came over and asked how she could help, my mother announced in a voice loud enough to be heard over the speaker, my daughter's developed her first nubs and needs a training bra. <laughs> Captain Nubs at your service, gentlemen. <laughs> when I became a mom, my relationship with my bra went from bad to worse. In the nursing years, a bra was a nuisance. But as my kids got older and life got busier, bras went from annoying to optional to as-needed basis only. What I didn't realize was that my relationship with myself had become as dysfunctional as my relationship with my bra. That realization came the night that I lay braless and sobbing in the fetal position in my closet. Over the last two years, I'd been diagnosed with nine chronic conditions that completely changed my quality of life. I'd lost a 16-year career that I loved. And that night, with snot pouring out my nose and tears sopping my carpet, I looked down at my phone and reread the confirmation that my divorce was finalized. As I looked up from the floor, I came face to face with my old mom bra that looked exactly how I felt. Stretched beyond its max, dingy, tired, and worthless. So I did what any self-respecting recently divorced mom would do. I wallowed. I experienced gratuitous amounts of self-pity. I sobbed until my throat ached. But at the end of the day, I was a chronically ill, divorced, single mom with three kids who needed me to take care of them. So it's time for me to pull up my big girl britches, shove my saggy mom bits back into a bra, and get back to life and back to work. And the first order of business was to buy a new bra. What I didn't expect was that that dreaded bra shopping experience would change my life. As I stood in that dressing room, I realized that for the first time in over a decade, I was buying a bra that had absolutely nothing to do with my ex and everything to do with me. And that felt powerful. I also realized that for the first time in a long time, I was buying something I didn't plan on giving to my kids, letting them use first, or sharing with them when I got home. <laughs> As I tried on bras in different colors and patterns and styles, I was reminded that they were fun, playful, sassy, and bold sides of me that I'd lost touch with over the years. And when I found my power bra, it was one that reflected me, supported me, empowered me, and was for my eyes only. In that moment, I discovered the power of fashion in helping me repair my relationship with myself. And I wanted to help other women do the same. As I've combined life coaching with personal styling, I found that, well, clothes in general can help women feel empowered, there is a special relationship between a woman and her bra. In the words of Helen Ellis, a good bra is fine, but a great bra is life-changing. As simple as it sounds, buying a power bra, one that reflects who you are, can actually be a powerful step in developing a deeper relationship with yourself and reclaiming your confidence. So put it on the calendar now, a date to reconnect with yourself by finding your power bra, one that's uniquely you and that helps you feel comfortable in your own skin. When you do, your bra can become a powerful reminder of who you really are. But beneath 
the sweatpants and that baggy t-shirt covered in pet hair, baby puke, and food stains is a woman, a unique, beautiful, powerful woman who is intimately connected with herself, and that's sexy. Thank <laughs> you.